shame you couldn't get away quietly, without bloodshed. They're bound to hate us even more now. Ah, oh, well. Artyom, Katya, and Nastya are with me now. See you aboard the Aurora. Check the map. Looks like you can row straight to it from there. What the fuck was that? A whale? It's fucking huge! The old man sent me out as a forward sentry. Told me that I was to sit tight and under no circumstances look for any action. So I just had a front row seat watching you there. And so you subdue the occupation forces peacefully with a holy cross and a prayer. <laughs> Anna has already reported on the cult. How about we trade places? I'd hate to come back to Moscow without even firing once. I was trying to win a girl over from one trader. Tough luck there. Why does everybody else get fun missions? The colonel does criticize you and all, but he gives you all the best action. Is this his way of showing affection or trying to get you killed? But I have to say it's unfair. I've been dragged out of Moscow and for what? Stalking the furnace and sitting in a bog with a dumb spyglass. Here though we do have a chance of finding some loot. There is this plane there. Just leave something for me. I'll have to stay longer, I suspect. The shrimps are giving me trouble, though. I wish I could somehow talk to that catfish into chomping all those water bugs. How did Mowgli talk to the animals, I wonder? Speaking of Mowgli, we have the same blood type, you and I. Haven't you noticed? <laughs> well, I guess you have to go now, Artyom. I feel your father-in-law training his binoculars on us to turn us into pillars of salt. <laughs>
Here's Artyom back from the abyss of NATO You're alive! <laughs> Impressive after the horrors Duke told us about. Let's go. Dad's talking to Katya right now. They are so nice. Both Katya and her daughter. And Katya's medical training will come in handy. Thank you for the information, Katya. But there is one more question I need to ask. But of course. What do you know of the occupation forces? Huh? I'm sorry, I don't quite get what you... So, you've never seen any foreign army in this area? No, I haven't seen any army. But we haven't really been to any important places. I see. Hmm. Artyom, a moment. Artyom, stop by my desk once you're done talking to the old man. I've got something for you. Great job saving them, Artyom. Katya here has provided us with vital information. A mechanic called Crest is hiding in the port. His help is required if we're to fix the Aurora in the foreseeable future. Yermak can't handle the repairs alone. So, once you're ready, go to the port and invite Crest to join us. And then get back ASAP. We'll have to decide what to do about the fanatics on that bridge. Now we know for sure that the bridge is in working order. They crossed it last year when they got here. Well, at least some things are clearer now. But still, so many questions. <sighs> there might not even be any enemy forces around here at all. They probably garrisoned the key regions only. <sighs> In any case, we'll learn everything once we reach Yamantau. From the top source. The Moscow government is essentially a local council, to put things in perspective. So, now we just need to figure out how to cross this goddamn bridge. How do you like the backpack? Is it comfortable? Can you operate stealthily with it? I have a present for you here. A Tihar rifle. Ring any bells? It's pneumatic, but it still pecks a wallop. Plus, making bullets for it is easy as pie, even in the field. Just remember to keep that pressure up. Otherwise, you might as well be spitting him out yourself. Other than that, it will never fail you. I did my best. So, bear it with honor. <laughs> and don't forget to drop by from time to time. I have a few ideas for improving it. Thank you, Artyom. If not for you, we'd never have escaped that place. They were so busy looking for you. And then Anna picked us up. Yes, Uncle Artyom. Thank you. And your wife is great. She's kind and really strong. 
Thank you, Antiana. There you go, Artyom. As I always said, you lucked out with me. We all lucked out with Anna. She's a total dead eye. Now I only wish your mom could come with us too. With a real medic, we'd become unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> Katya, Nastya, come have some tea. Don't be shy. Are you still here, Artyom? You really should move out to Port Zone. Damn. What do I even do about this? Hi, Artyom. Hello again, Artyom. You did great out there. Or so everyone says. <laughs> in the meantime, we have dug in here. We've been waiting for the occupying forces. But so far, we have only seen winged and four-legged ones. <laughs> Our ecology seems to sit badly with them. <laughs> Some bandit-looking characters in the distance, too. So, Artyom, are you going to the port? There's nobody there. At least, I haven't seen any normal people. But there sure are mutants, so you'd better take care. Take care? Artyom? The Scourge of the Dark Ones? Fucking sure? Yes, there's nobody. Please, I beg you. Looks like the door ain't coming. So, should we let the sad go? Sure thing. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, sucks to be you, I gotta say. Nobody to cough up the door and all. Oh, that governor. 
Yo, people, he's here! Check this place out carefully. Where is that fucker? Simon, the breach is done for. The fanatics have taken over. I was prepared to give them a quarter of the cargo, but they wouldn't even hear me out. Wanted me to leave my diesel first, and fuck that noise. I'm not pushing the platform with a fucking hand car for 200 clicks. We're neck deep in the red zone. Don't send the search to you with this message. Sell the diesel to the brothers. They were offering good cash for it, and get that a self-propelled barge or a tugboat. Do you understand me, Simon? No haggling. As soon as the others hear about the bridge, any piece of shit that floats will be worth its weight in gold. But we could still bounce back if we do it fast. Get to it, Simon. Time is money. <laughs> <laughs> 